It's an alarming scene at the Great Salt Lake, and we're not talking about the water. No, we're not. Thousands of birds have died this winter, many now washing ashore. A special Shelby Lofton asked a biologist what's causing these birds to die and what's being done to take care of the issue. A lot of people come visit the Great Salt Lake, but thousands of birds do, too. Scientists are telling us more about what their life cycle looks like here. My youngest son, he was obsessed with having to see the Great Salt Lake. Tourists. We are from Littleton, Colorado. Take in all sorts of views of the Great Salt Lake. It was really beautiful seeing the mountains surrounding the lake. But down on the shoreline. <gasps> oh, no. Wow, there's four of them. About every foot or two, there's a dead bird. It's nice. not a welcome sight. It's just sad. But it's nothing new. We have this happen every year. And Biologist John Luft with the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources says he gets a lot of phone calls and messages about dead birds at the lake. Almost every year we have these die-offs. He says so far this winter, they've counted 15 to 20,000 dead wild birds. These are actually birds that died probably in September. The salty waters keep them from decomposing. He says that's all typical. What sets this year apart. This is actually the first time that I've seen uh, eared grebes um, die from avian influenza. We typically get them uh, succumbing to avian cholera. They're keeping an eye on the outbreak. It's not a major loss. If you see a group of five or more dead waterfowl or shorebirds, report it to your local DWR office. The division knows about the dozens of dead-eared grebes, so try to avoid them on the next trip. I'm coming. The Division of Wildlife Resources says it's important not to touch or pick up the birds. They will come and pick them up to do testing. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.